Okay, yeah, so I'm Dan Bedett, um, an organic dairy farmer from Hayward Heath in West Sussex. Um, we're in our second year now of being a strategic dairy farm. We mobility score every month throughout the whole year now, and as soon as they've done it, they produce a list. Um, they'll go through the list and they'll pick off cows that um, haven't been seen before, um, and they will over the next week to 10 days, they will pick all of those cows up, all of those feet up. And being part of the Healthy Feet Light program has um, just given us that little extra push. Um, having Nick um, come down and, and meet Sam and, um, and John and then doing subsequent follow-up calls with Sam has just given him that bit of extra incentive that someone else is interested in what he's doing. Uh, so at Cockhays, we put in a new parlour in 2012, uh, 2040 swing over parlour. So it's quite a simple parlour with mats, both for the um, person milking and for the cows on the standing area. Um, and this, the, generally the cow flow is very good, particularly in the winter time. Um, they get fed um, up to three and a half kilos of uh, milking in there. So the cow flow is generally very good. Um, there's concrete on the exit race, but there's a big enough area that not making sharp turns um, and then there's a curved exit race which is sheeted down so again the cows are walking quite quietly and smoothly through that um, a couple of years ago we rebuilt the foot bath um, it wasn't the old one wasn't long enough so we've now got one which is three meters long um, and it can be it's two cows wide so that we don't have holdups going through there they foot bath three times a week using formalin um, which has really helped um, get any digi, which is quite low in the herds, keep that under control. Um, we make sure that the area on the other side is well scraped out as well. So when the cows are exiting from the footpath, they don't have, they're not walking straight into a mucky yard. So they've got a good 20 meters or so, a fairly clean yard um, before they, um, well, whilst their feet are drying off and the formalins and acting on them. Um, so the tracks here at Cockhay is the mixture of sleep, concrete railway sleepers and um, sandstone tracks. Um, generally, they're in pretty good condition. We do have some areas which are in need of um, upgrades. Um, it's been a very wet year this year, so we haven't been managed to do that. Um, Nick advised us that we, we ought to be building those tracks up and trying to put a bit of a camber on them, um, trying to get the water away from the tracks to stop it um, pooling. We do have quite a bit of tractor traffic on there during silaging and muck spreading time. So um, they have to be fairly robust tracks, which have got to be suiting. Um, so therefore AstroTurf isn't really an option for us here. Um, but certainly um, if we could get hold of them, concrete sleepers would be our number one choice and then um, sandstone second. So the majority of our cubicles are sited in a shed, which is coming up to 50 years old now. Um, a lot of those are old Newton rig style cubicles. Our cows are about 550 kilo cows. So um, the general feeling was that the size of the cubicles was okay. Um, we may need to make some adjustments to some of the neck rails to um, increase lying time and stop them perching. Um, we talked about some temporary ways of making it better by putting some batten on the back of the cubicles that would hold the straw in. So we straw on concrete and um, often the straw, you know, doesn't stay in as well as we'd like it to. So perhaps we could try putting in some batten on the back um, by creating a sort of deep bed effect. Yeah, we also talked about the standing index. So I think anecdotally we see a fair few cows perching um, we have, we, as a self-feed system, we have a lot of cows that just like loafing outside. Um, so we never have all the cows lying down at the same time here. Um, so we're going to look at doing a standing index this winter, perhaps on a couple of occasions, try and pick a couple of days which are similar and just uh, literally go down and count how many cows are actually lying down compared to how many are actually in the cubicles, uh, the cubicle building itself, um, just to give us a, a starting point, really. Um, we do need to do a cost-benefit analysis. Um, we need to look at you know, what potential uplift on milk yield might be um, for making modifications that get cows to lie down more. So we've got two self-feed clamps um, on the farm. One was constructed about seven years ago and the surface is really good. Um, most of the main walkways are pretty good. And Nick did suggest that um, grooving them might be um, helpful and to maintain a bit of grip. Our main issue is um, for when the cows are in and bullying 
Um, and then one of the one of our clamps is quite an old clamp, and the concrete we have to patch up. Um, most years we put a screed resin down um, over the top of it, and hopefully that works. But we found when we did it last year that it was too hot, and we didn't cover it, and it's starting to crack in places now and starting to come apart. So um, we're ne- again going to need to look at the, the cost of perhaps re either screeding the whole clamp or resurfacing the whole clamp. Yeah, so we talked. Nick talked about. Um, Made in heifers carving in and then um, going on to concrete. And the fact they wouldn't have been on concrete really since sort of March, April time, apart from the odd TB test. And it'd be worth every week or so trying to bring them in on concrete for a while. Uh, we also talked about um, dry cow foot bathing. So um, Nick recommended that, you know, cows really ought to be foot bathed regularly throughout the year. Um, our cows are now at the moment, um, it's July, they're, they're in a, and the dry period, they're all out of grass. Um, but when they're when they're in the spring of group, we'll probably run them through a foot bath um, three three mornings a week, and then the heifers will run them through with that group there, just to um, help the fat pad development, just to make sure that um, they've got enough cushioning for when they do come onto concrete, they're they're ready to go. Um, we'll be looking at the cubicle building. Um, we'll be looking at the battens, and you know doing a section of them just to see what it does. We don't really know what that will affect as far as the dynamics of the cubicle and how wet or not they may get um, if we trap any um, excess liquid inside the cubicles. Um, and I think certainly the, the post carving, certainly sort of the maiden heifers will be keen to um, look at those feet um, within sort of 60 to 70 days of carving, certainly pre-bulling, make sure that they're all, their, all those feet are being picked up.